Hey everybody, Cam with The Real World here. We're gonna take a quick look at all the movies I added to my collection in March 2023. Welcome back to The Real World. If you're joining us for the first time, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of all our videos. We're huge movie fans here. So if you're a movie fan, you're in the right place. We're all about physical media. That's what this video is all about. We're going to get more into my physical media collection this year, which is gonna be a lot of fun. March is my birth month, and of course I ask for movies. So I uh, added a lot of new movies to my collection this month, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So without further ado, we're gonna start off going in chronological order. So earliest movie first, Destry Rides Again. This is the newest Criterion film I added to the collection. I'm a huge fan of the Criterion collection. They got me into old movies. They got me into foreign films as well. So I uh, owe a lot of my taste in cinema to them, I guess you could say. And the Western genre, as many of you might know, is one of my favorite genres of film. And this is one I actually haven't seen yet. So this was a blind buy, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's got Jimmy Stewart in it, who's one of my favorite actors ever. Um, so I'm really excited to check this one out. Criterion did a great job with that cover art. There's the back cover. There's the spine. And then if you pop it open, you've of course got the disc, some nice disc art there. And then this booklet that Criterion always includes, which kind of looks like an old saloon menu or something and open it up and it's got essays and all that kind of good stuff in there. Some art on the back as well. So very nice interior art there, um, really cool, great set. I'm very much looking forward to watching this. A review will come out as soon as I get a chance to check it out. So starting there, then we're going into Secret of the Incas. This is one of my favorite classic adventure movies. So I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones. It's my favorite film series of all time. Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favorite movie of all time. This inspired that. So I'm very glad Kino Lorber put this out. Kino Lorber is a great boutique Blu-ray label out there that many of you might not have heard of, but they put out a lot of these kind of more obscure older films. They do a great job with the artwork. I like the artwork on the, this is a slip cover actually. So you get that artwork, you've got that on the back, and then on the interior is totally different artwork. Um, which is really cool. I think this is the original poster. So we've got that. Artwork on the back is the same there. Pop it open and you've got that Kino Lorber logo there. All their discs look the same, which I think is actually kind of cool. But uh, yeah, nice set from Kino. I really am looking forward to seeing the transfer on this one. I haven't had a chance to pop this one in the player yet. But again, another... Um, review of this will be coming soon. This is from a 4K scan of the 35 millimeter negative. So uh, Paramount usually does a good job and it has been remastered by them. It also includes a commentary, which is fun. So uh, be checking that out soon. Another Western, Rio Bravo. This is one of my favorites from one of my favorite directors, Howard Hawks. Uh, he directs John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson in this. It's a lot of fun. And it does include several bonus features, including a commentary by Richard Scheichel and John Carpenter. Uh, the great John Carpenter cult film director directed stuff like Halloween, The Thing, one of my favorites, Escape from New York, Big Trouble in Little China, a lot of great films. So uh, that'll be fun to listen to. There's the disc art on that one. And there's the back cover as well. So uh, nice little Blu-ray set of a classic film that I'm a huge fan of. Glad to finally have it in the collection. Next up, jumping ahead a couple decades to the 80s, Gremlins and Gremlins 2, The New Batch. I had already had Gremlins. It's one of my favorite movies I watch every year, Christmas or Halloween. It's one of those that it's kind of a, a horror movie that takes place during Halloween, so you can watch it at either holiday. Sometimes I'll watch it at both. And then, the, but I hadn't had the sequel and this was on sale. So I grabbed it over at Amazon and uh, yeah, really, really fun movies. There's the back cover. Pretty simple Blu-ray set here. Two discs. 
one for each movie. Very nicely done. And so, yeah, I'm glad to have both of these now in my collection because I'm one of the few that thinks the second one might actually be better than the first. Both directed by Joe Dante, one of my favorite directors. So I'm glad to have those as well. Then we're going to the last of the Blu-rays. These have all been Blu-rays so far. The rest are 4Ks, but this is the last of them. It's The Terminal. This is a highly underrated Steven Spielberg movie. He's my favorite director ever. I've seen, I think all of his films, but one or two now. And this is a great drama comedy. It's a dramedy, I guess you could say. Tom Hanks, great as always. Catherine Zeta-Jones in one of her best roles, I think. Just really, really fun. All takes place in an airport and it's great. It's such a great film. Uh, all around. This one's packed with bonus features, and uh, there's the back cover, and there's the disc. Pretty simple, but well done, and I'm glad to have yet another Spielberg film in my collection. I own most of his movies, so this was one of the blind spots, and I've filled that now. So that's all the Blu-rays. Now we're jumping into 4Ks, continuing um, going back to the 1980s with Dragon Slayer. This is an incredible 4K steelbook edition of this dark fantasy film that was released in 1981. There's the back art. I've already done a 4K review of this on the channel if you want to go into more detail, but let's just say this is a phenomenal set. Look at that artwork. I mean, it is beautiful. Um, just stunning, stunning artwork. It's got the slip there. It's got a few bonus features, not a ton, but enough to warrant a buy for sure. That's the back of the steel book. You pop it open and there's our disc, some text on the side there. So very well done. Um, this was a co-production between Paramount and Disney. And I'm glad to have this in the collection. I had only seen it once before and I liked it, but didn't love it. But we were doing a dragon related podcast, which is available now on the channel. And I wanted to see it again. So I put it on my wish list, ended up getting it, got to watch it again before the podcast. And it was this close to making it in my top five. Um, it, it ended up as an honorable mention. I talked a little bit about it on the podcast. So check that out. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of it, this is the best version out there. It looks stunning. So moving on with another dragon centric film. I don't know why all these dragon movies are out all of a sudden, but um, Dragon Heart. This is one of the first I remember watching when I was very young. It's a lot of fun. It's got Dennis Quaid and Sean Connery plays the dragon. It, it is just a really enjoyable fantasy adventure. And uh, Shout Factory did this. They've got some nice disc art there on the 4K and the Blu-ray that's included here. There's the back cover. Um, Shot Factory does a great job with these releases. And uh, this one's no exception. Looks great. Better than the movies ever looked, for sure. Uh, and the sound quality is great, too. So check that one out if you haven't already. This next one I can't wait to put into the player. One of my favorite animated films of all time it is The Prince of Egypt on 4K for the first time for their 25th anniversary. This was released 1999. Uh, it's got the gold 4K logo, which I don't think I've ever seen before. Uh, it's a really nice, shiny slip cover here. Um, I'm one of the few physical media collectors that isn't a huge fan of slip covers, usually, because they're just the same artwork on the interior and the exterior. It's like, I don't really get why it's there. Um, but this one's unique. I like it when they do unique slip covers and even just, you know, putting the kind of sheen on it, you know, this 25th anniversary sticker. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's really well done. There's the spine and there's the back packed with some pretty good bonus features. So really excited to pop this one in the player. There's our discs, some discard on the 4K there. Very nicely done by DreamWorks. Um, probably my favorite DreamWorks film ever. All right, this next one, actually this is another Blu-ray, I forgot, I just picked this up. 
It is the triple feature V for Vendetta, Watchman Director's Cut, and Constantine. Now, if you're a collector, you may have run into this, uh, or if not, you probably will. As the collection grows, you start to run out of room and you need more space on the shelf. So I actually already owned V for Vendetta and Watchmen, but I didn't have Constantine. So I'm gonna get rid of these two, free up some space on the shelf. I've got a new movie as well. I replaced those and it's nice and compact, uh, all in one. I get all three movies, but in one case. So that's helpful <laughs> for sure. And uh, all movies I really enjoy, so glad to have those all in the collection. Moving on to another 4K edition of a movie that I own the other two of this trilogy on Blu-ray. But I had to add How to Train Your Dragon, the hidden world animation looks incredible in 4K, especially a movie like this where lighting is such a big part of it and color. The HDR just makes everything pop. It really is a visual masterpiece. I mean, it is incredible. The great Roger Deakins, famous cinematographer, worked on all three of these movies as a consultant, and it shows. I mean, it's really, really amazing what they're able to do here. There's the back cover, loaded with bonus features. Here's the interior. And so, yeah, very nice. I'm glad to have the whole trilogy now. And the fact that I have this one, my favorite of the trilogy, on 4K is really cool. Um, so, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Glad it's included. Next up is an underrated Brad Pitt sci-fi film, Ad Astra. I have a blast with this movie. It's really unique. It's a much quieter kind of sci-fi, much more contemplative much more thematic. It's not an action film. There is some cool action in it, um, including this scene on the cover here, the, the moon pirates. Um, that's a fun, fun sequence, but uh, very good performance by Brad Pitt and kind of understated performance. Um, there's the discs there. And I was reading up and this one had great reviews on the 4K uh, the, the color, the, the, the clarity, just all of it uh, stood out here. So glad to have this one in the collection. It's got a bunch of bonus features as well, including a commentary by James Gray, the director, which I'll definitely be checking out. And so, uh, yeah, glad to have this one. A review for this one will be coming as well. And I'm going to try to review all these individually as well. So that'll be coming up on the channel soon. Another great dragon film, Raya and the Last Dragon, one of the more overlooked Disney films of recent years. I think it's fantastic, it builds a great mythology. It's really interesting. Again, the 4K, the HDR, everything is just so much clearer. And streaming this on Disney Plus, yeah, it streams in 4K, but you're just not getting that full experience because streamers know that that buffering logo uh, kills uh, the streaming services. So in order to avoid that, they basically take the resolution down. They don't really stream it in full HDR as it's meant to be seen. So getting the disc is really the only way to see it as the filmmakers originally intended. You're getting that direct connection to your television from your 4K Blu-ray player. So if you're a video file like me, it's worth it. There's the interior and there's the back cover. There's the spine. So, great set by Disney. There. Moving on to a Marvel release, one of my favorite recent Marvel films, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is an awesome action film. If you're into fantasy action, forget if you're a Marvel fan or not. If you're a Marvel fan, obviously you've probably already seen this at least once. But if you're not a big Marvel fan and you're a huge fan of martial arts action movies. This has it all. Uh, it's really, really fun. It's really well done. Uh, Destin Daniel Cretton did a great job with directing this. Simu Liu, wonderful actor in the lead role. Aquafina's in this. Tony Leung, Ben Kingsley, just a great cast. Michelle Yeoh, who just won Best Actress uh, at the Oscars. So, Definitely glad to have this in my collection. I've got most of the Marvel Cinematic Universe films, not all, 
Um, there's a couple that I decided to skip over because I'm just not a fan or, you know, whatever. But um, this is one that I'm very glad to have in the collection. Again, it's got several bonus features, including a commentary. And I'm a big fan of commentaries. And so that is going to be a lot of fun to listen to. So glad to have Shang-Chi there. Also, another Marvel movie. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Just picked this one up as well with some of my birthday cash. And I am glad to have this one in the collection as well. I don't think it's a perfect movie, but I think it's a great sequel. And among the better Marvel films of late, um, that's the slipcover edition, same artwork on the inside. Pop it open, there's your disc art. Very simple, but well done. And so yeah, very glad to have the sequel to Black Panther in the collection. Huge fan of Namor and what they did with that character in this movie as well. All right, last but not least, one of my favorite films of last year, The Northman from director Robert Eggers. I'm a huge fan of this director. He is such a thoughtful and interesting filmmaker. He's so unique. Um, he's got a specific style that is just so interesting and, and different. Uh, this is, I think, probably my favorite of his three movies he's made so far. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of The Witch and The Lighthouse as well. So really, really good. I'm ecstatic to put this back in the player and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, he's, got a, he's got a commentary on here. I'll definitely be listening to several other bonus features uh, just a stunning achievement, The Northman. So that's it, folks. Right here is the birthday haul for March 2023. Great movies. I'm so glad to have in my collection. Some of these I've been waiting for for a long time to get a release, uh, like Secret of the Incas. I, I wasn't expecting that to ever get a Blu-ray release. So uh, thanks to companies like Kino Lorber, that uh, keep cinema alive, keep classic films alive. And so uh, let me know what your favorite is of the uh, stack here that I got and uh, tell me which ones you want me to watch first, which ones you want reviews on. I'll be doing those in the coming days and weeks. So thanks again for joining me. Leave a comment below, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of all our videos. Make sure you come back for the podcast coming up. We're going to be talking all about the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of all our videos. And we'll see you next time right here on The Real World.